also a T6 cruiser. Okay, so a Galicinia class. Or the grass. No, that's a Galicinia, I think. Yeah. Armor. Okay, that was to be expected. Pretty trash as well. 25 deck though. Although that's gonna be meaning more pens only. 8.6 second reload, 152s, decent fire chance, good range, very good range. Torps, nothing to be worth mentioning. Maneuverability, 31 knots. And concealment, 12.9. Okay. We have Def or Hydro. Well, that's. No, and, and a reload booster, okay. Um. Don't, we're not gonna go put coal on here. We're gonna buff our main gun, the accuracy always, and propose. Good. Fifteen seconds. We can make it better. It doesn't matter. Good. More reload boosters. We can go top grade gunner. Thirty second turret traverse is really good. AD cam range, like like the range he already is very good because it means he can play very well. Depends on the arcs, of course. But we got a HE with twelve percent fire chance, pretty decent. Velocity also doesn't look too bad. Is it the same as Galicinia? It's the same velocity, but Galicinia only has fifteen point nine. So this thing has way more range. Okay. Well, Montcalm, let's give it a try. Montcalm will be available as... Let's see. Montcalm available in a premium shop naked for $23. That includes a 30-day XP booster or in an Admiral bundle for $40. That includes credits, T2 booster, signals, memorable flag, 10-point captain, 30-day XP booster. Also available in the D-Day containers. So just like Orion and Rodney. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's see how it goes. Yeah. Oh damn, look at this rage guys. This rage is crazy. Oh no tears. You have more range than a lot of those BBs. Camo looks really nice. Not having a speed boost is not really a problem with this speed. Torpedo angles, as per usual, very good with a friendship. Main gun angles. Oh. Ah, yes, classic. These main guns could be way better if it wouldn't be for this box. Look at this box, guys. Super annoying. Look at this box. It prevents us from having actually amazing uh, angles to actually atrocious. We have only two torpedoes instead of three, right? Yeah. Good. Well, torpedoes are not going to be the most important thing anyway. What's the damage? 15 nearly, okay. Reload is faster though. 16 instead of 90 seconds. You and only 6 scam range. Fire chance 12%. Well, actually, play it on range. We don't want to get too close because we don't want to lose our main advantage. Those shells, okay, speed is pretty decent on them. Nice, good start. Insta DCP, haha, <laughs> the model. I instantly gonna use my reload booster because it's an integ DD player. 
And we're gonna utilize the most amount of damage we can on him instantly. Okay, this reload booster is really powerful. This reload booster is really, really powerful. Holy. Get quite a lot of volleys off. We have already pretty good base reload with 7.9 seconds here right now. So. From the get go, this is already far better than Orion. <laughs> far better. Sure, you have no heal, but at least you can participate in the battle instantly. Adding gun angles are pretty bad as well, but that was that was to be expected. I think the main advantage about having so much range is that most people on lower tiers don't shoot that far, or tend to aim for targets that are way closer, so you can get away with a lot of moves here. Ooh, pretty good pen. Pretty good pen on the AP. I did not expect citadels on that range anymore. Good to know. Sure, again, it was a Devonshire, but still. I did not expect pens there. I really didn't. Eh, uh, citadels. One downside, the rudder shift doesn't feel as good. It's still okay, but it kind of feels more sluggish than it should be. I still can't get over of this over this massive range. That's like crazy for a tier six cruiser. Have all the time of the world to wreck those to those PB shells, which is very nice. And no hit for you, bro. What's Bayern's range? Bayern doesn't have that much range, right? 17.7. Damn, that's more than I thought. Oh, it has 16. I barely play no OT nowadays anymore, guys, so I don't know. DCP'd. I'm gonna wait. Now we go. Now everything that hits him is off DCP. There's one fire. Wait, does this guy actually have fire prevention? That would be crazy. On this tier, the person playing better than high tier. Crazy. It looks like fire prevention, yeah. Hey, Draconis. What's our pen, by the way? 25 millimeters, okay.
He's still too angled for AP, I presume. Plus it's a Bayern. Take you mother trucker. One hell of a tanky boy, guys. I'm gonna use this position here so we're not spotted while shooting. Ship breaks very fast, that's nice. Retirement Center. <laughs> Interesting name, my man. We spotted, that's a DD. How do I know? Because it wasn't Orion spotted me. At least I'm pretty sure about it. Renown is in our broadside, we gotta watch out about that fella. Man, this AP is really good. It smashes cruisers completely. Holy. Even on Orion, I could see it work. Eh, hey, on the Reno. Pretty good. Unfortunately, we're gonna get out capped here. We have to push into him now though, which is not gonna end too well. This game is lost, but Montcalm definitely recommended. This is a really powerful trip, like actually really powerful. Like it. GG. This is pretty good. Good range, decent HG, fantastic AP against cruisers, against BBs. Well. The, the problem is we, we have a lot of dreadnoughts and they tend to have a lot of armor everywhere ish. Renown is now an exception. But like in Bayern, it's very frustrating to shoot AP in general unless you're point blank range. GG though. Montcalm is really good. I like it. That's definitely a recommend. Holy. And that reload booster can be really nasty against cruisers or against damage conning BBs. A confederate even, nice. Hello there. Good morning, Draconis. Did you? What's the easiest way to earn credits? Uh, it sounds really like it sounds really weird, but just to play decent, getting decent results in a game, that's the easiest way to grind credits. <laughs> play better, the more credits you will get. Don't play co-op. Co-op doesn't bring you money. Use boosters wisely. If, if there's asymmetric battles, I think you can actually earn quite a lot of asymmetric battles as well. But I'm not sure about it. I don't play it. But I do think you get way better rewards there than in co-op. Other than that, in randoms, play decent. And you get more credits. Use your boosters on the ships you play the best. Your credit boosters and you should be good. And of course, if you have played premium ships. Tier 9, 8, 10... GG. On calm. Pretty decent. I like it. Definitely a thumbs up. 
Good. Now we played all the new ships. We're gonna see the content on YouTube eventually. Now let's go though. 